Cassie from the community said, Stephen, you seem to understand money very well. Uh, I wondered where or how do I even get started on getting myself out of debt? Thank you in advance. All right, uh, Cassie, this is a, a great question. I've got it multiple times from the community, so I'm happy to go through that. First and foremost, to get out of debt, you have to have the desire to get out of debt. And I, I mean, it has to be a burning desire, not just a, oh, I think it would be a good idea. You have to want to get out of debt, okay? Now, I'll give you an example. When I was in debt, I used to carry a three by five uh, index card that said, get out of debt. And I carried that in my pocket every single day for two and a half years. And whenever it would become too wrinkly or I, I couldn't read it, I would rip it up and I would write a new one and start again. I would read that card every day, twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. It helped me with my spending and it helped me to focus on my goal. So having that desire and that reminder of what it is that you want. Okay, now the, the next thing is, you need to get all of your bills and all of your debt onto one single piece of paper. If you don't know what your bills are or where money is leaking out of your budget, then you, you can't have a, a, a full comprehensive picture of where you are currently and where you need to move in order to get to that debt-free status. So you need to get all of that on one page. You also need to know what are my debts? What is my interest rate? What's my minimum payment? How much extra do I have that I can put into getting out of debt? The next thing is you need to have margin or create margin. What that means is your income must be higher than your outgoing money, right? And the, the difference, right? The white part of the Oreo, <laughs> uh, that is called the margin, right? So if you make $4,000 a month and your bills are $3,000, you would have an extra $1,000. Or if you make $2,400 and your bills are $2,200 and you can put $200 a month, that is your margin. Knowing your margin is going to tell you how quickly you can drive that debt down. And then you just need to have a system. Now, if you're not going to use a professional a debt liquidation coach like myself or somebody else, then you need to know the different methods of getting out of debt that are out there. There is the snowball method, the avalanche method, the velocity banking method, and the cash flow indexing method. Now, it would take too long to go into detail, so I will do, as soon as I can, um, some in-depth videos on each of those four debt liquidation strategies but you, you can do some research and, and figure that out for yourself. But those are the four fastest ways to get out of debt. Each one has their weaknesses, each one has their strengths. Okay, now um, lastly, I do wanna point out that you need to be understanding and aware of the fact that there is good debt and there is bad debt. Now, professionals and experts have differing opinions on what's good debt and what's bad debt. Basically, bad debt is anything that takes away income from your household, and good debt is anything that brings money back to your household. And then there's a few that are in the gray area, such as a mortgage, right? Some people believe in paying off a mortgage. Some people don't believe in paying off a mortgage. I can mathematically uh, show that either way is just fine. Um, but you need to be aware of your good debts and your bad debts. For example, a credit card is always a bad debt, okay? Unless it's making you money, right? So those are the debts that you need to be aware of. Um, and and uh, I believe that getting rid of all of your bad debt as fast as you can is absolutely brilliant. And it's something that you can have more control over. You and I can't control the stock market, but we can try to control our own economy and we can try to apply intelligence and methodology to getting rid of that bad debt as quickly as we can. Anyway, I hope that you found this video helpful and that those in the community found this video helpful. I just wanna remind you again that you are amazing. I appreciate you being in my community and I'll see you on the next video.